Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carolina, I'm from Brazil, and uh, I started to play violin as an adult five years ago, and uh, in this channel I share with you all my violin adventures. In today's video, we are going to talk about strings. To keep a good sound, it's important to change your strings. But uh, the last time I changed mine was in September 2020, if I'm not wrong. I didn't play for so long last year because of my neck injury, so I didn't feel it was necessary to change my strings. I was using Pirastotonica strings, but uh, I decided to try the Dario's Ascente this time. I really love Tonica strings. I think it has a beautiful sound in my violin, but uh, I'm still searching for the perfect set for Baron. Before we start, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and uh, subscribe to the channel to help it to grow. And now let's talk and let's see how this new string sounds. Bye. 
guys, this was my video about my new strings. My first impression was that I really loved how my D string resounded in my room, but uh, I didn't like the G string. After two weeks, I didn't play every day, but uh, I played in the most of them. And uh, I can say that uh, I'm still in love with my D string, but I really hate my G string. And uh, why do I hate it so much? It uh, didn't matter how much weight or speed I use, my... <laughs> Ai, meu amor. Hum. Hum. It doesn't matter how much weight or speed I use, I can't produce a good sound. And I have tried many combinations, but I'm not happy. It always gets this scratch sound with no projection and uh, I feel like the sound is always late. The feeling I have is that the strings are loose. All of them are very soft to the touch, uh, as if they were under low tension, especially the G. At first I liked it, but now I don't know. I talked to a friend about it, she bought this set around the same time I did and she has the same problem with the G-string. Finally, I've noticed a lot of roasting on the strings, especially on the G-string, which greatly reduces the grip with the bow and even my teacher couldn't explain why. Of course, my bow isn't in the best shape and I'm using tonica rosin, so I think I need more time to get used to the sound. I don't know. I don't have much to say about the A and the E strings, but I didn't dislike them. They are not very bright, but they are not lifeless either. I think they are in the right measure. For me, the big star is the D string. I'm chocolate. I really loved how it sounds. As for the tuning, I didn't have any big problems. On the second day, I didn't need to tune every five minutes. Despite the G string having a sound that I liked a lot, I don't know if I would buy this set again because uh, the G string bothered me a lot with its low response, uh, no projection and scratch sound. And what do you think about my new strings? Tell me your thoughts in the comment box below and uh, I would appreciate any tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.